Dwayne here, phoenixtyperator.com. Got a Royal. I think this is a Safari or a Custom 3 or something. It's missing the back panel here, so I don't know exactly what model it is. But I did get this up and running for a young girl who thought this was going to be her dream typewriter. And, you know, it's going to be. I'm going to make it a, a dream typewriter. So everything is fixed. Except we want to do one little more detail thing to it, and that is this letter S is annoying me, and and she pointed it out as why why is it higher than the rest? I go, oh, we'll figure it out. So there is no reason besides maybe it's bent because the pad in there is okay, the link and everything in here is okay. Everything is good here, down in here, and I don't know. So we're just going to form it with some special tools. And I know I've done this before, but we're going to do it again. So these are tools that aid in bending links like that. So the difference between these guys is the slot opening here, right there, right there. And this side has different sizes. Those two are different. So what we need to find out is what fits this best in the, the angle right here. So whatever fits in there the tightest as far as fitting in here like that without any, any kind of slop. So you don't want any kind of slop. You want that as tight as it can get without wiggling. So let's try another one until we find the right one. That one's pretty good. That one's probably going to have to do it because this one's too small. So this guy is our guy. So you stick this in here and you, you bend it, you form it. And um, we do that from the top, generally speaking. So let's find the one that we had here. I think it was this one. I'm going to stick it down until I get it back into place. Yeah, that must have been it, this one. And. So when I get it like that, now I'm going to flex it down this way to try to lower this. And just be as controlled movement here. I'm going to flex this down. Just like that. It's got to go a little further. See that? We can go just a little further. It's pretty close. I think we're going to leave it like that. You don't want to bend these too much. To, there is a possibility of breakage. But probably not. They're kind of it's the type of metal that's designed to be bent on these, so. Okay, I think we're just going to leave it like that. And call that good enough. And, uh, oh, it's, it's tapping the lid here on these safaris, you can hear it. Tapping the lid right there. There's a trick to that, and it's called flexing the lid. Just bend it, bend it upward a little bit like that. I 
no more touchy. These machines are a little bit flimsy, but it's a good starter typewriter for a 13 year old. And uh, get them started with typewriters if they want to uh, continue, they can move themselves up to a higher quality machine. But that's our video for today. Phoenix Typewriter, good day.